having a fantastic day. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I actually did an informative video. Just remember it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and patience to be able to do what I do. And obviously I've learned so much of their behavior and what to do in moments where something could go wrong potentially. You know? I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be super interesting and I really hope that you can learn something out of this. I've probably done one of these videos before and I just thought I'd actually do it again seeing as I'm getting so many different comments and so many DMs asking about the wild dogs and uh, some of the recent videos as to why the wild dogs are not killing me so you'll see basically two males actually surrounding me the whole time the male that's right here on my right hand side is the most dominant male so luckily I have like a, a small way of actually picking up which ones are which and which one is the most dominant um, because I don't know if you guys have ever seen wild dogs, but their patterns are so different and unique to one another. But yet it's so difficult to actually distinguish between the few that are right here in front of me. So the male right here behind me is actually more like the backup of the most dominant male. Whenever the other male comes and just tries to threaten me and try and push me away from the pack, he is falling straight behind. And as soon as the one male tries and makes a play or tries to attack the back of my legs he will be there short after to make sure that if he gets me he will be there to get me as well whenever i'm speaking about the wild dogs it's super interesting you have to always be on your toes whenever you're close to them so you'll see one of the males just circling around seeing what i'm doing and for me being able to sit here now i'm super far away from the pack they'll just be aware of me being here and just make sure i stay here so wild dogs are extremely opportunistic animals and uh, for the male behind me i can't see him but i can actually hear how far he is behind me so I can hear him moving to the right hand side and I can hear he's like fairly a far distance away from me. So immediately if I turn back, he'll see me and he's obviously going to vocalize and he'll know I'm watching him. So if for some reason I take my eyes off them for a long period of time, they're going to find this opportunity that they will definitely take. These dogs are extremely intelligent. So if they see my eyes move off them, they will immediately try and just bring me down. Not because I am food to them but rather as a threat the most dominant male is actually circling back and i'm gonna basically demonstrate to you guys what happens if i'm here with the wild dogs so i'm basically gonna stand up move a bit back and you're gonna see the most dominant male immediately try and threaten me by making as if he's going to bite me all right <laughs> making as if he's going to bite me i immediately have to be prepared for whatever is going to happen so for the backup male he's just going to be walking around me making sure that i'm staying in my place so as you can see here what the real guy has to be scared of the way of it all time